Good morning. There is a fundamental problem with armies like Cruel Boys, and I would like to take a moment to discuss it and try to think of some potential solutions because it's like it's kind of a big problem. Um, and the problem is that this and this is a problem that's true with any kind of debuff army. The problem is, is that a lot of the modifiers that Cruel Boys have are to your opponent's dice. For example, Noisy Racket applies to your opponent's wound rolls. Minus one to hit from Gut Rippers applies to your opponent's wound rolls. Um, and, and more than just the rolls too, but to your opponent's like movement. So um, Choking Mist, right? It's like minus one attack characteristic applies to your opponent's rolls. Your opponent can't run. So you're, when your opponent is measuring out and trying to move around the board, the onus is on you, right? And there's more examples too. Um, summon Boggy Mist, right? Minus one to charge. Like we have minus one attacks, minus one to hit, minus one to charge, minus one to, to wound. There's a lot of debuffs in the Cruel Boys army that apply to your opponent's m models, dice rolls, and so on. What does this mean? It means that as a Cruel Boys player, you have to be standing there at the table, looking at your opponent and saying, is that one minus, is that minus one, to, minus one to, to wound on that roll? Don't forget, minus one to wound. Was, were those dice with minus one to wound? Right? Oh, don't forget. Uh, oh no, those models can't run, you can't run. And so it's like, you're like a vulture boss standing over the table, you know? And that's a fundamental kind of problem to the, to like, I don't know, to games in general, but to uh, like uh, this army in particular, I feel. Now, I really, that's not to say that I don't think that the style is fun or interesting, right? Like being swamp orcs that debuff your opponent and ruin everything that they're trying to do is a lot of fun. And is like, I think a part of the game that's never going to go away, you know, but I don't know how you can like minimize that fundamental problem of you're the one who's having to remind your opponent, right? Like, just as a quick thought experiment, have you playing Cruel Boys, have you ever forgotten plus one to, or minus one to hit, minus one to wound, minus one attack, no run. Have you ever forgotten that as you're staring at your opponent? Have you ever been like chatting them up or having a good time and suddenly a whole combat phase went by and you're like, oh, oops. Conversely, if you're playing Cruel Boys, do you ever forget Venom Encrusted Weapons? Ever? Do you ever forget the poison when you roll your dice to proc Mortal Wounds on fives? You know, it's like it happens, but it's way less common. It's way less common. You know, so like it, it's a it's a two part problem. The one is that you have to remember, you have to remember all the, all these things when your opponent is rolling dice. And it can kind of be not the most fun thing in the world to stand there and constantly be like asking and reminding your opponent for all these debuffs. You know, it's not like you do your thing, I do my thing. It's like, oh, hey, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. But I don't know what the, like, I don't know what the answer is. Because if this was a video game, it would be quite simple. It would just be built into the math. You wouldn't have to remember. You cast the debuff. Like, for those of you that are playing Baldur's Gate, right? Like, you you can just cast your debuffs, and then they're going to be built into the dice rolls. But I don't know what the pro... Like, I don't know how you address this problem for a tabletop game. Do you just limit the number of debuffs that you're giving to your opponent? Do you... Like, if you're debuffing your opponent... It, does it translate into bonuses to save for you? So it's like for every, you know, for every successful wound roll, you get to, like, does it effectively become a kind, like a ward, right? It's like, oh, you're debuffed and you're going to deal less damage to me. And so that translates into a ward for me. That doesn't seem very thematic and correct. Is it like, oh, you successfully, you know, uh, hit me five times with like your to wound roll. So... Does that mean that I get to, like, automatically take away one or two rolls? Does it mean that I get, like, a special, like, oh, at the, uh, during the combat phase, after your opponent has made their to wound rolls, before you roll your save roll, you may roll a number of dice equal to the number of successful wound rolls. 
on a on a four up you know those dice all get minus one or for any roll of a, of a five up subtract one from the wound roll like I, like i like i'm not like i i don't exactly know or like that wound roll misses it's like a pre-save you know like i don't i don't exactly know how this translates into like a different kind of mechanic where you're the one who's taking the initiative and you're the one who's rolling the dice when you're debuffing your opponent but i'd like to hear what you guys think because you know like the the orc book we'll be getting a new orc book uh, i'm hoping relatively soon into fourth edition so you tell me what you think i i i don't know like i don't know anyway like subscribe wah.